everyone and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. And before we dive into today's episode, which is dissecting a blind item that I came across, which was alleging that Robin Dixon used to have a troll account slash was a mod for the gossip column Lipstick Alley. And if it turns out that this really was her, yikes. She's made some very homophobic, some very colorist, some very violent and alarming um, claims and comments if this is truly her. Again, this is based on a blind item and then also a deeper dive that I did for some receipts. But remember, everything is alleged, opinion-based, and for entertainment only until proven otherwise. So this is just a deep dive on the receipts I found, and I'm going to show you the video of the blind item as well. So I just wanted to preface that. So before we dive in, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. It really helps to grow the channel and to help other people find us and for us just to have a little bit of fun. So with that, let's go. So I first want to start by saying the difference between Robin Dixon, if this is true, that she was this troll mod on Lipstick Alley, you know, particularly around the rumors that Juan Dixon had cheated with the actress Gabrielle Union and then subsequent things that she has said. The key difference is Robin Dixon wasn't a mod on Lipstick Alley in order to get on the show. And she also didn't use being a mod on Lipstick Alley in order to take down or expose or malign or cyber bully her other co-stars. So there are very important differences between what Monica Garcia did on The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City when she created the Reality Von Tees account for the sole purpose to get on the show and for the sole purpose to cyber bully her actual co-stars. So there is a little bit of a difference here. So I just wanted to make that clear up front what those differences are. But let's get into what the blind item says, and then we will break down all of the receipts that I found, okay? So here we go. Let's first watch the blind item, and then we'll go down with the receipts. This one is for all of my fellow Bravo fans. So we just found out on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City that Monica was reality Von Tees. And that was shocking. But here is a new blind item that is alleging that Robin from the Real Housewives of Potomac was involved with Lipstick Alley. And for those of you who don't know, Lipstick Alley is a gossip website. This housewife used to be a moderator on a popular gossip forum and would use the platform to attack one of her love rivals. All of you know who this rival is because she is a prominent actress. The husband found out and hasn't respected her since. And again, this is allegedly Robin Dixon being a former moderator of Lipstick Alley and the actress that Juan Dixon allegedly cheated with is Gabrielle Union. And here is the Lipstick Alley page that says Juan Dixon cheated on Robin with Gabrielle Union. And the related headline reads, Real Housewives of Potomac star Robin Dixon admits husband Juan cheated again after denying rumors. So there you have it. That's the blind item. So when I saw that, I was like, there must be more receipts. There must be more information around this. And unfortunately, there was. So I grabbed this from Lipstick Alley itself. This was one of the articles. It said, Juan cheated on Robin with Gabrielle Union. Then Myra Wilkie says, Robin really does hate dark-skinned women. It's showing being that Juan cheated with dark women their entire marriage slash rohop. Then another user, Hey Arnold, responded, you talking about when he cheated with Gab, referring to Gabrielle Union, allegedly. Yeah, she got some belted anger against them, LOL. Now, don't forget, Lipstick Alley is not Robin Dixon's website versus Monica Garcia, who literally created Reality Bontees for the sole reason to troll her co-stars and to be on the show. So there are nuances to this. But what is similar to other 
I guess, theories we've had around the colorism conversation. I know what I think about colorism on Real Hop. That's one thing. But one person said that, you know, um, Giselle, Jizzy, obviously her green eyed bandit, you know, partner in crime had a thing against dark skinned women because her ex-husband, Jamal Bryant, cheated on her repeatedly with dark skinned women. Now that same claim is being made against Robin's, I guess, current husband. I don't know if there's a marriage license yet, but we'll see her current husband, re-husband Juan Dixon, that he repeatedly cheated on her with darker skinned women. Maybe, maybe not, who knows? But let's dive more into what I found. Okay, now shout out to at Housewife's Gifts. They really did a deep dive and I just sort of was able to put it all together. Shout out to them for getting this all together. So it says, now besides the online rumors, how are you sure that this quote Layla is in fact Robin, you may ask? Now, Layla is the pseudonym or the name that the moderator was going by. So the moderator was saying her, that her name was Layla. And for those of you who may not know, a moderator, whether it's on your YouTube channel, on your blog post, or you know, on your website, is not the creator of the site, but it's someone that the creator of the site trusts to moderate the content and the questions. So they'll answer questions that users have. They will delete, you know, offensive posts that people have. They basically are there to help to referee and to moderate and to mediate the content on these sites. So the rumor is that Robin was actually the moderator called Layla. And under this name, Layla, she would talk about Robin Dixon, or she would talk about Juan Dixon, the cheating rumors. And allegedly, she made some very colorist and homophobic comments that we will get into shortly. If this is, in fact, her. Remember, this is, in a, this is a blind item. This is all alleged. So the first thing I thought was, well, how would Robin have access to this? And then I remembered that Robin used to work in public relations. So you see the little snippet on the screen that says Robin Dixon's work in public relations. I got that from bravotv.com. It says Robin's background includes a degree in business marketing she earned from the University of Maryland, according to a biography listed with all American speakers. In a 2016 interview with Black Enterprise, the basketball wife confirmed she worked as a publicist and event manager for TAAPR, which says its mission is to evolve, nurture, and maintain essential relationships with media, celebrity, and complex consumer markets, according to its website. A part of being a publicist is having those um, relationships with the media. And the media, as we know this day and age, includes bloggers, YouTubers, podcasters, Lipstick Alley. And what publicists really do is they try to um, maintain the public persona, really maintain the public image of their clients, be their husbands. So she would know how to be a moderator. She would know how to get in with the people at Listic Alley in order to sort of sway the narrative around Juan's um, reputation online. And I didn't know this until I was doing um, my research on this, and we'll get into it a little bit later, but Lipstick Alley, around the time that she was allegedly the moderator, was like years ago, and it started out more as an athlete slash celebrity site when it first started. It was more geared toward, you know, the athletes, the NBA players, the NFL players, and all of that type of world. It's obviously evolved now to more like reality stars and other celebrities as a lot of platforms have, but it started out around the time that Robin allegedly was Layla, heavily geared toward athletes, professional athletes, you know, celebrity athletes, which would make sense considering at that time, you know, Juan Dixon was, you know, basketball player, all of that. Okay. So here we go. So Real Housewives Give says time for a, a row hop deep dive. Robin Dixon's alleged history as a moderator on the forum Lipstick Alley under the name Layla with a past of colorism, homophobia, and an obsession with anonymously posting about Juan Dixon, a thread. So on the other side, it says back in 2005, when the forum was athlete centric and much smaller than what it is today, Layla was heavily rumored known to be Juan's wife. So that's what it says right here. And I'll read it for you guys. 
Gucci said, in another thread, people were talking about Juan and Gabby messing around. Remember, Gabby is allegedly Gabrielle Union. Layla, Juan's wife, said in a thread that Gabby was too dark for Juan. And then it goes, was it ever confirmed that Layla is Juan's wife or is that a Lipstick Alley rumor? And then someone responded, I'm pretty sure it's an established fact from her own writings as well as others. You might want to ask someone else. So again, remember, this is alleged blind items. But if this is true, then unfortunately, I personally don't really see the colorism issue on Rohop. However, if it is true that this person is Robin, then to me, this is colorism. If she's saying, no, Gabrielle Union, she's too dark for Juan, that's not what he likes, then yes, that is obvious colorism. If it turns out that this is truly Robin. And that's a pretty sick thing to say. I don't condone that. I think that's disgusting. Whether this person, this Layla person is Robin or not, to say that someone's too dark for someone is disgusting no matter who said it. Okay. But let's keep going. So here was another post. It says Layla has posted about her Yorkie called Gigi, who also shares the same name as Robin's mother. So then it goes on to say, no, LOL, um, Satin Struthers, girl, I thought I was the only one that loves Sparkle. That is my Sitchu name. My Yorkie is Gigi. So maybe Gigi is just a popular name for Yorkies. Maybe Gigi is just a popular name for tiny dogs. And it's just a coincidence that that is also her mother's name is called G her mother's name is Gigi. You know, over here, we don't believe in coincidence. We believe in conspiracy. It's a little bit, I don't know if it's a reach or a stretch or if it's pretty obvious, but usually when people are going under a pseudonym and they are faking who they are or they're pretending, they will add in flavors from their own life. You know, they will add in things that they really like or names of people who are really in their lives because that's just how we operate as human beings. We can't help it, but to add in things about our real life. If you're a writer, even if you're writing about, you know, science fiction, certain elements of your writing will still harken back to your real life. As human beings, that's just how we are. We subconsciously add in things about our real life when we're creating something. So maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe it's not. It's up to you guys to decide. Okay. So let's get to the next one. This one says, Layla has a post history of continuously defending athlete Ray Lewis. I don't know who Ray Lewis is. I'm not a big sports person. It is what it is. Knowing personal details about his life. When you go to Robin's personal Facebook, one of the few pages she follows is Ray's Lewis fan page. So on the screen, um, it's kind of cut in two, but on the top, it's the moderator, Layla, and she's talking about Ray has six children. Go ahead and ask him. Smell Tatiana. It's just the mother of his child, blah, 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 blah. Basically going in about all of this information when it comes to Ray Lewis. And then you, you see on Robin Dixon's Facebook page, that is someone that she follows and that's someone that she knows. So again, is it just a coincidence that this moderator, Layla, is defending and knows all of this personal information about this athlete that Robin herself is following and has ties to. Again, maybe it's just a coincidence, but who knows? Okay. Our next receipt. So some of Layla's posts acknowledging the rumor, never completely denying the fact. Again, this is always a red flag. When someone is accused of something, and they don't actually say, no, it's not me. They just sort of skirt around it. Sometimes can be indicative of that person being caught or called out. You know, I know for me, if um, I know for me that if someone accuses me of something and I know it's not true, I am going to hell and high water to defend myself and to deny it. I'm not going to tiptoe around it. It's going to be a straight up, no, it's not me. But let's see what, you know, Layla, aka Robin, allegedly had to say. And it also says, also referring to herself as a, not a hardworking woman and beating bees up with bottles, LMAO. So I purposely blurred out the image that was posted because I found it to be very disturbing. It was a picture of a bloodied up woman after a fight. And I just thought it was really triggering and gross. So I covered it up. Okay. 
So on this side, it says Layla guess the moderator. That would be Robin's fake account if it's really her. It says, I'm going to keep it real just one time for you guys. I am I am rich via my man and other things I've gotten into over the years. I am beautiful to my man and that is all that matters and I don't work no more. I just take care of the day-to-day -day working on of my family. P.S. I've never been a hardworking a hard working woman per se. And then she goes on to say on the other side, I don't fight. I don't argue. I just beat bees with bottles. LOL. Now, if this is her, if this is really Layla, that's pretty disgusting. That's pretty violent. And then I thought, well, has Robin ever been violent? And remember when I think it was a couple seasons ago where she had the umbrella and she was about to like, was it Monique? She was going to choke out. It was either Monique or Ashley. And it might have been Ashley. I think she said she was going to choke out Ashley and this wasn't the first time and blah, 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 blah. And she was going to choke, choke her out with the umbrella and all this stuff. And it was Robin and Giselle who rolled up at Ashley's like Australian restaurant because Ashley was asking questions about her marriage with Juan and whether or not they were really married, whether or not he was cheating and all of that. So instead of Robin addressing her husband, ex-husband, non-husband, she wanted to show up at the Australian restaurant and threaten to beat up Ashley because Ashley was asking questions about it. And she said she was going to choke her out with the umbrella. So does Robin have a history of being violent? Yes, but a lot of the women do. So who knows? But if this is her, this is pretty disgusting. And again, I blacked out that image on purpose because it was pretty disturbing. Okay, now let's get into the next receipt. So this says, so what I'm going to read to you now is one of the people on Lipstick Alley. This is not Robin, allegedly. She says, thank you. Now let's talk about how she cursed Wendy out, or Whitney out or how Tyrese trying to get is trying to get rekindled with Brandy. Oh, and some East Coast gossip for our mod. So now this person is talking directly to Layla slash Robin, if it's Robin. Since they claim you're Dixon's wife, Seems Gabby was his guest at more than a few Wizards games, including one in Miami when he couldn't keep his hands off of her at the playoffs. And I know you weren't there, so don't try that one. Uncut enough, question mark, question mark. So this is somebody on Lipstick Alley straight up calling Robin the moderator since you since everyone claimed you're Dixon's wife and also reiterating the rumor that Juan Dixon and Gabby is Gabby or Gabby or Union we're having an affair. And that goes back to what we talked about earlier when Layla said, oh, you know, she's too dark for him. He doesn't like dark women. She's referring to Gabrielle Union as being too dark for Juan. Whether that is Robert or not remains to be seen, but that's what was said by the moderator. Okay. Now, this is Layla, the moderator, maybe Robin, responding saying, really, that was the purpose of this thread because you wanted an answer to that. Honey, you are not implying anything I don't know already. Let me give you a, a bit of a tidbit, ga a tidbit about Gabby, although a beautiful girl, is also a bit dark for Juan Dixon. Also, you are really telling on yourself, dot, 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 uncut. Okay. To me... This is the most, well, one of the, I, I would say the most damning parts of the receipts that I found. This is one of the most damning parts of the receipts that I found. And I'm going to explain why. The moderator, Layla, says, really, that was the purpose of this thread because you wanted an answer to that. She goes, honey, you are not implying anything I don't know already. To me, that is her responding in her feelings and forgetting that she's pretending to be somebody somebody else. Because remember, the person said to her, well, they claim you're Juan Dixon's wife. You know, he was all over Gabby at the playoffs and you weren't there. This is what's going on. And the moderator responds, you aren't implying anything I don't know already. If this was not Robin, wouldn't the person say, who cares if Juan Dixon and Gabrielle are all over each other? 
he's not my husband. I'm not his wife. I don't care. Or wouldn't you say, hey, no, I'm not Juan's wife, but thank you for the scoop. Thank you for the tea. Thank you for the gossip. You got any receipts to follow that up? Post the receipts right? If you are just a moderator, if you are just a, you know, unbiased person moderating a site, why would you say you're not implying anything I don't know already? To me, that's a slip up. That's a Freudian slip. You know, she forgot she was pretending to be Layla because she's probably in her feelings with people coming at her about this. You know, and then she says, let me give you something about Gabby. Although she's a beautiful girl, she's a bit dark for Juan Dixon. Again, that is colorist and that is disgusting, regardless of who said it, whether it's this late fake Layla or whether it's Robin, whoever said it, it's a disgusting thing. And I don't condone that. And I think it's horrible. But again, this is just my opinion. This is one of the most powerful pieces of evidence that this really is Robin. Because she says that I don't know already. Why is she so defensive? Why did she say I don't know already? To me, that implies this really is you, Robin. And you're basically trying to say you're not outing anything. You're not spilling anything because I already know this. Well, why would you already know that? You would only already know that if Robin at this particular time, Juan was your husband. And you knew he was going to the games with with, Gab with Gabrielle Union. This doesn't sound like somebody who is just a random moderator who has no skin in the game. So this, to me, was one of the most damning pieces of evidence. Okay. Then she continues to say, okay, so Layla said, sure do, carry on. I just love the speculation, LOL. Like Mystique says, if you're going to have more than one name, make sure you do it on AOL and not from work. How's things at Nike? Love ya, boo. Then the person responds, says, oh, and since you're checking IPs, you know good and well that all those names aren't connected to this IP. So again, when accused of being Juan's wife, Layla proceeded to dox the accuser. If the poster was wrong, why would you dox them? And this is also coming from Real Housewives, who makes a really great point. Why would Layla get so defensive to this person have a Freudian slip and say, I already know that because I'm his wife and I know what he does. I already know. And why would she take it a step so far to dox the person? You know, being like, I know that you work at Nike. That's what she said. You know, do it from AOL, not from work. How's things at Nike? AOL. This must be a long. I don't even know what AOL is. That must be a long. <laughs> anyway, I was like, what the hell is AOL? Anyway right? Not from work, housings at Nike. So why would you dock someone unless they hit a nerve, unless they're onto something, unless you're trying to threatening, unless you're trying to threaten them? Because I wouldn't, first of all, I would never dox anybody, period. I don't play that. I don't play that way. It's not cool. It's not funny. So I would never do that, period. But if you're somebody who is in your feelings, somebody is hitting a nerve and you think somebody is exposing you, if you're not a normal human being, instead of just blocking that person, maybe you're going to dox them because you want revenge, because you're pissed, because you're mad, because you want to send a message. Again, this is all pointing to someone who is not just a regular moderator, someone who doesn't have any skin in the game, skin in the game, you know, someone that isn't being threatened by what this person is saying. You know, dogs don't bark at parked cars. So this person is only barking because whoever is commenting is on to something. Okay. Now it says from Bon Tempest Bish, I saw a font mention that um, Lipstick Alley had the T on Robin and Juan before Real Housewives of Potomac existed. Not surprising since it used to be a form, form more focused on athletes. We talked about that earlier. But one of the first things I came across in the old threads is that Robin was allegedly a member here. Then I see that she allegedly was a mod. The member profile isn't even active anymore. I'm probably late. Wonder if any other housewives were on the board. So the rumors have circulated about the form ever since, and they are still believed to be true to this day. So this opens up a couple of questions. How many other housewives 
were mods on Lipstick Alley. How many other housewives have fake burner accounts, have fake Instagram accounts, fake YouTube channels, fake podcasts, paying people, you know, paying content creators, paying the pu- the public, pay- or not the public, playing the press, you know, all of that. It's literally a tale as old as time. People paying off journalists and paying off the press and paying off the media. But now that we live in a social media era, they're not just paying off the press, but they're now becoming the press. They're becoming people. They're doing all of this stuff. So it does open up the bigger question of how many people have done this and are doing this. We know about Monica in Salt Lake City. We know about um, Lisa Renna and Erica Jane in Beverly Hills with their publicist being exposed as the person who was, you know, paying off the the media and and the press to leak Kathy Hilton, you know, um, storylines and all of that stuff. So we've seen this before. So the question isn't, does this exist? The question is, how deep does this go? That's really the bigger question. Okay. And then this is back in November of 2020. It goes, yep, she was, and she was outed along with other popular fonts at the time. I guess fonts are, I'm not really sure what they mean by that. I'm not really that privy to this lingo on here, but I'm guessing popular fonts means either threads or moderators or conversations. So she was out with other popular people at the time. And it says, I remember Larry Fitzgerald is now baby mama being one too. So again, that goes to um, people saying that, no, it's been proven. This has been out here that Robin was the mod Layla on Lipstick Alley. And again, like I just said, not just Robin, but a lot of other people, whether they are celebrities, reality stars, baby mamas of famous people, these people are out here. So that's why I always say you always have to think about who is saying this, why are they saying it, and who does it serve when you see things on blogs, on social media channels, even in outlets, even if it's a reality blurb or a radar online or hell, a team in a TMZ. You always have to think, who does this serve? Does this story actually make sense? Because not only are people paying the press, not only are people leaking and being the sources, but now people are actually becoming the press themselves. So, I mean, fake news, fake news all over the place. Okay. Now, this one goes, Wayface said, Lipstick Alley is not an unknown website and has been around for a long time. So it wouldn't be shocking if a lot of housewives have accounts here. Then the person goes on to say, not shocking, you're right. Her being a mod and an OG poster back when it wasn't as popular feels like another level. Talking about Robin. She was around from the beginning as a popular font and posted in regular uh, in regular degular threads, not just cleaner stuff. But even that's not so shocking, given the early Eddie George athlete connection. If I were a celeb, I'd be a font on here. Simply for the off-topic discussions and tips, not even to see what people were saying about me, I would have staff do that. Having staff do that is very similar to like having your publicist do it. So there's another one of it being around. And then this, unfortunately, if it's true, was one of the homophobic posts by Layla. So Layla says, lady, you better get your gaydar up. Got a lot of booty bandits going around. Trust me, homosexual tendencies. Weird face emoji. Sisters don't fall for the prissy attitude. There's a difference, ladies. So if this is truly Robin, then this is a pretty, again, horrible thing to say about Gaydar and booty bandits. And and another thing, again, I don't know if I'm reading too much into this. I don't know if it's just a coincidence, but the term booty bandits, when what do we call Robin and Giselle? I'll wait. The green eyed bandits. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Maybe it's a reach. But again, people say words that they say. People use terminology that they usually say. I personally never use the word bandit, but this person is using booty bandits. And literally the name of her and her BFF are the green eyed bandits. So who knows? Who knows? But this was back in 2003 as Layla. 
if again, this person really is Robin, they've said some pretty horrible stuff, whether it's the homophobic stuff, whether it's the colorist stuff, whether it's, you know, going against um, Gabrielle Union and everything, it's pretty shocking. But again, there are a couple of differences between what Robin did versus what Monica did from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. You know, it wasn't that um, Robin was on Lipstick Alley allegedly to get on the show. This predated the show. And she wasn't on there to malign and to cyber bully and to take down her other cast members. Again, this predated the show. For me, the biggest things about this, if this really is her, is the colorism comments and the homophobic comments. To me, those are the biggest things that are kind of cringy and unsettling and not okay, whether this is Robin or not. But if it is Robin, since she is on the show, I kind of want her to answer to this. I kind of want her to come out and say, no, this isn't me. Or, you know, I, this isn't me. I never said these things. I'm not colorist. I am don't I don't have homophobic tendencies. I never said these things. You know, I want her to come out and address this. There's been a lot of receipts over, you know, the years. There's been blind items over the years. There's been a lot of information out about this over the years. So I would really want her to come out and address this, you know. And for the people who have just joined... I'm going to replay the original blind item video that I found. I'll replay it now for those who um, have just joined, and then we will, you know, talk about it a little bit more. This one is for all of my fellow Bravo fans. So we just found out on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City that Monica was reality Von Tees, and that was shocking. But here is a new blind item that is alleging that Robin from the Real Housewives of Potomac was involved with Lipstick Alley. And for those of you who don't know, Lipstick Alley is a gossip website. This housewife used to be a moderator on a popular gossip forum and would use the platform to attack one of her love rivals. All of you know who this rival is because she is a prominent actress. The husband found out and hasn't respected her since. And again, this is allegedly Robin Dixon being a former moderator of Lipstick Alley and the actress that Juan Dixon allegedly cheated with is Gabrielle Union. And here is the Lipstick Alley page that says Juan Dixon cheated on Robin with Gabrielle Union. And the related headline reads, Real Housewives of Potomac star Robin Dixon admits husband Juan cheated again after denying rumors. So I will leave it up to you guys to decide, you know, do you think the receipts you know, implicate that Layla was Robin Dixon. In my, in my opinion, I was on the fence, but that one, you know, post where she said, um, you're not telling me anything I don't already know, that pretty much put the nail in the coffin for me, in my personal opinion, confirming that it was Robin because it was just too much of a Freudian slip. Why would this person, if it wasn't Robin, say, you're not telling me anything that I don't already know? And that's basically what Robin says all the time when anybody says anything about Juan. I know, I already know, I already know, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. So there's that, you guys, there's that. So I, I will leave all of the receipts with you to make up your own mind. Again, this is alleged. But if this is Robin, even if it's not Robin, she needs to address this, given the fact that this person, quote, Layla, made some pretty horrific colorist comments against our beautiful, beautiful Gabrielle Union, and some pretty disgusting homophobic comments as well. So if this was me, I would want to clear my name. I would come out publicly and say, I wouldn't, I didn't say this. This isn't me. This isn't who I am. I never said these things. If it was just about one cheating in general, then fine. You don't need to say anything. You can rock with it. You can roll with it. That's your man. You're going to stick beside him. Do you, sweetheart? I personally don't care. 
But I think the biggest issue is the colorism and the homophobic comments. That's what I think is the most important thing for her to address. If she wants to stick by one, knock yourself out. I don't care. It's the other things that I think she needs to come out and say, I unequivocally did not say these things. So put it down below and let me know what you guys think. You know, do you think this is Robin? Do you think she needs to come and speak out? And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. So with that, let's move on to, since we've been talking about